All right, so after you've gone out fishing or hunting, however, whatever you go out, what kind of meat you get, you always want to preserve it. You want it to always be fresh. You don't ever want it to go bad. Uh, we use, we choose to use the food saver. It works great. We've got the vacuum seal bags. Uh, it automatically vacuums and seals it for you after you sealed the one side. Uh, you can get pre-made bags. I choose to use the roll because it's cheaper and you can get more out of it. Uh, it can do a normal or gentle speed depending on whatever kind of food or you, whatever you're using. It does dry and moist food. So uh, right now I'm using an 11-inch roll. I'm going to pack these tuna. You always want to make sure you have enough space. So we're going to say we're going to put that one there and maybe that one there. And then you want about 3 inches to seal. So that's about good space. Set this down. doesn't want to cut. Let's see here. There we go. Set it inside here. Put the latch down. That locks it. it turns on the mechanism. You seal it. You just have to wait. I tend I want I like to keep everything clean so I clean up the blood. So once the light goes off, that means the bag is sealed. Undo the lock back, lift it up. It's nice and warm, so you know it's sealed. Make sure, let it cool down. You don't want it to open up. Put your first tuna steak in there. And the second one, see they got plenty of room. Now the trick is, I have enough room on the counter, but there's a little joint that you have to put the bag into in the dip tray so that it seals correctly. Pull the latch down, lock it, and oh, there we go. Can vacuum and seal. And now you got Presto, the tuna fish, whatever kind of meat, whatever you use, it's sealed, fresh, and it'll last five times longer than any kind of Ziploc, whatever you use. This is how I like to do it. We can take it out, cut it up, make some nice steaks, maybe make some sushi, whatever I want to eat that day. But thanks for watching and enjoy. Have a good one.